So uh, mm -hmm. we're continuing a previous talk where we were talking about our worst uh, mistakes and we kind of were coming, uh, opening up. So um, she mentioned buying Bitcoin at 17,000. And then I personally bought Bitcoin Cash at 4,000. And you were kind of mentioning that you wanted to quit crypto. So let's, t let's talk about that. Why, why did you want to um, quit? When I said quit, I didn't mean like, fully quit i will still hold some crypto because um it is a currency and you can buy certain things with it you know so uh like i'm still gonna hold some cryptocurrency but there is emotional aspect to day trading and investing into cryptocurrency because it's so volatile it really affects your daily stress level you know depending how emotional you are and as we mentioned before i feel like um it's great for people who can just like be pretty like robotic about it and just think in terms of numbers because i feel like the way our brain is wired we tend to focus on losses more than gains <laughs> and whenever we sell too soon we always think that oh my god i wish hold i i will always think about the loss how much we lost if we sell we sold it later you know versus when we buy we always feel like oh i should have bought it sooner when it was cheaper you know and my brain is more that way and it really stresses me out a lot that's why i kind of was thinking to quit crypto not fully but definitely just minimize <laughs> my money in crypto just simply because it's just been very stressful you know <laughs> but again but again i just want to say that you can enjoy a sport game without being a football player you know what i mean so i can still be into it and <laughs> follow the news and have some money playing but not be the biggest player you know and what's interesting is the way I try to justify everything is, you know, you spent a lot of money on your education. I've spent a lot of money on my education and I've brought up that I my, know, right? my, yeah, my piece of paper, which I work for myself. So it's kind of like worthless. I paid a hundred. Exactly. Right? So losing even like a thousand bucks, 2000 bucks in crypto. I think it's a great like education. And the it is. Yeah, for sure. I feel like people should at least invest. Like, like I'm glad you brought it up because I feel like everybody should give it a try with whatever they have, like, can't afford to lose the minimum, because it's a cool, like, it's a game in a way, you know, <laughs> you want to put your intuition, your logic to the test, and it's a good way to do it. Um, and, and another so, thing, and, go ahead. yeah, well, it and will give people exposure, like, to at least to know how to use GDAX, Coinbase, even if you don't want to go as far as Binance, you know, I know a lot of people who are, not every person who watches this channel has invested yet, you know what I mean? Yeah, a lot of people are still so no scared. My sister is my age, she's scared. I was telling her, like, put $50 into Bitcoin, just see what happens. She won't do it. You know, a lot of people who watch your channel, I'm sure. <laughs> people, if you haven't if you, you haven't invested at all, you've just been a lurker, please comment down below so we know. <laughs> like, yeah, I definitely recommend if you're a lurker and you never tried nothing. I think it's a good thing to at least log into Coinbase, get your $10 to referral, something like that. You know, put $50. Robinhood no fees, transfer though. To Gmail. I don't know. Yeah. I'm gonna get you to sign up to Robinhood, but if if you're not gonna invest more than a hundred dollars, because with Coinbase you have to spend a hundred dollars to get the ten dollars for free, take use Robinhood because Robinhood there's no fees, and if you really want to be conservative, you can literally buy five dollars of cryptocurrency and pay no fees. Unlike Coinbase, where they'll they'll still charge you three dollars if you buy five dollars of crypto. So um, if you want to be, a I'm small a strong believer that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm a strong believer that everybody should have exposure, and the only way to have real exposure is not just be a lurker and do invest money a little bit at least and see like how it feels you know to use a website how it is to have the wallet you know a lot of people don't even know what wallet is you know yeah. <laughs> because i feel like there is future in it at some point it's going to be a stable currency and we need those skills you know <laughs> exactly and like i said if you want to think out of this education and then the one long-term thing too is let's just say you are one of those people that bought bitcoin at seventeen thousand, or you bought bitcoin cash at four thousand i still think that this is a long-term game so i know people get upset when the market's down you know and like i said we've only been down market for three months but look at the macro picture the people that really made money in cryptocurrency are the people that held for over three years so uh, when you yes. do get hit hard and you're thinking of selling just think about it is it going to be this price three years from now five years from now and that's where exactly. i get a lot more comfortable thinking you know what man um, there might be some downs because it's still not regulated. Wall Street still can't like set up an ETF to buy in. So for me, I'm in it for the long term uh, play. And, you know, with the tax policy, too, it's like you pay much higher taxes depending on what your income is. You pay much higher taxes when you day trade. But if you hold your asset for over a year, you're going to pay very a uh, lot less. It's like one fourth 
the taxes and you're the CPA, so you probably know this better than me, but um, that's yeah. what, I, what I try to do, but go ahead. Yeah, that's another thing I think you bring up a really important point. It's all about what's like how long you're planning to be in the markets because we have a bit of advantage because our age, so in, we can take bigger risk. But if you're close to retirement, you should not like take all your 401k and like take a chance with crypto. I would not recommend that, you know, <laughs> like, um, but the thing with crypto, because there is so many swings, it feels like you have control over it and you should do something every minute. It's kind of hard to hold on to it because there's such a huge jumps. You know, like my boyfriend, he complains, oh my God, stock market went down. I'm like, well, but you're not withdrawing like all your stocks like tomorrow. <laughs> like it's going to come back up. It goes in cycles but they're more or less stable you know in terms of drops and ups but with crypto there is such a huge jumps and your mind is just calculating these numbers at least my mind yeah no, <laughs> so it can good. be a little overwhelming yeah okay. but it's important yeah people who are bought at high i feel like i have still have some stuff that i'm still holding and hopefully it will recover <laughs> and it will at some point and i'm gonna sell it but yeah it's definitely emotional. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for coming on. Uh, I think we're going to wrap this up. This will probably be one of our final interviews. So I'll be posting these videos uh, throughout the channel. And hopefully I can get you to come back uh, another time, especially once so we, we've gone through some of the comments and we'll continue our discussion. And like I said, we're going to kind of open it up. We're obviously going to talk about cryptocurrency. It's a crypto centric uh, channel, but we are going to be talking about personal finance. We're going to be talking about, unfortunately, politics. I hate to make this po political, but <laughs> unfortunately, politics does shape markets. So we're going to try to uh, take a bigger picture. But, you know, if you're into watching the news clips, the news clips will stay the same. But I'm going to go this route. Um, so hopefully you enjoy this. And like I said, if you're commenting and uh, you're posting good comments, maybe we'll make this like a trifecta or bring in more people to also open it up and have maybe a panel. So uh, if you are interested, leave some comments and uh, uh, we will decide whether we, uh, you, you're cool enough to come on our channel. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll talk to you guys soon. Regardless, I had a fun. Love you, love you guys. Thank yeah. you so much for having me. Thank you for me. watching, guys. Bye.